And so, to answer your question, Mr. Senator, in spite of these recent events, I don't believe forcing superheroes to register with the government is the answer. This law would split the hero community right down the middle, with consequences I'm not sure any of us want to ponder. Hey, Mr. Stark. Mr. Stark. Which is exactly why it's going to happen next. Was that really your best shot? Sneaking around doesn't become you, Steve. Maybe I'll need to practice. Maybe we all will. Don't be so melodramatic. This whole thing would affect you least of all. You're already deputized. You almost sound like you agree with them. This registration act would tear down everything we've done. Destroy a century-old tradition of... I'm trying to save it, Steve. As much of it as I can, anyway. Don't you see where this is headed? All it's going to take is one more slip-up by anyone in a cape, and we'll be lucky if registration is the worst they do. They could just turn us all into criminals, hunt us all down. No, they won't, Tony. Not in my country. The A on my head does not stand for now France. Now to our special live episode of the new Warriors, coming to you straight from Stamford, Connecticut, where the Warriors have just been spotted by their supervillain quarry. Looks like it's on. Of course, now we enter into hey, Civil War nitro. territory. Don't worry, Speedball. I'm on it. On your feet, Nitro. And don't bother trying any of your stupid exploding tricks. Oh, baby, don't you even know? <laughs> You're playing with the big boys now. There's the big event. How did they get camera angles of the rest of the city? Reports now coming in from Stamford, Connecticut, indicate a massive explosion in a residential neighborhood. Just over 12 hours ago now, and preliminary casualties are said to be over 600. In Washington, rumblings on whether superhero reform should be brought to the table. Following last week's devastating explosion, Congress has rushed through passage of the Superhuman Registration Act, with the president expected to sign it. This is just completely insane, Hill, and I won't do it. I'm sorry, was it not clear I was giving you an order? You're asking me to arrest people who risk their lives for this country every day. No, I'm ordering you to obey the will of the American people, Captain. Either you help us bring them in, or we'll bring you in. Weapons down, gentlemen. Or I... Drink dart. Now! Uh, take him down! Take him down! You know, I'm glad they kept this continuity error in. And I'll explain it after this is over. Keep us moving, son, if you want to stay conscious. You idiot. You were trying to save lives. Of all the people to go underground, Captain America. Now every superhero who disagrees with the act suddenly has a leader. Maybe we should hold off until that won't be necessary mr president registration can go forward as planned we'll take care of captain america and with the passage of the superhuman registration act earlier this week superheroes around the country are being forced to choose a side do they register with the government to uphold the law or become part of an underground resistance movement? So far- Can you believe this is really going down? The act kicks in at midnight, but word is S.H.I.E.L.D.'s gonna be here sooner than that, taking signatures or prisoners. I wanna talk to Cage about it, but he's too busy arguing with Mr. Fantastic over there. Maybe you can break into their little powwow and get some sense out of them. We're finally here. Civil War. So first thing I want to discuss, you'll notice what, his name's Patriot, right? Yeah, I think it is. Anyways. You'll notice what he said. The registration act does not kick in until midnight. Maria Hill just tried to illegally arrest Captain America for not registering Despite the fact the Registration Act was Understand not happening yet. Luke, but you have to believe me. I've crunched the numbers, and we absolutely can't rebel against the government on this. If we do, the consequences... Can't be any worse than burning the Constitution. You're exaggerating. 
This is a temporary measure. Once things settle down... I ain't buying it, Reed. And I can't believe somebody as brainy as you would. Oh, hello. Good timing. Perhaps you can talk some sense into Mr. Cage here. He and Iron Fist seem determined to get arrested. He's the one who needs a reality check. But good luck getting anywhere with that. Well, as I was saying, yeah, so she just tried to arrest him and trank him, despite the fact he didn't do anything wrong yet. She does the exact same thing in the comics, by the way. She tries to arrest him despite the fact that the Registration Act hadn't gone into effect yet. It's pretty funny. I'm glad they kept that in there. Well, sort of. Anyways, this leads to why I wanted all the characters playable. Now, I'm pretty sure when I started this Let's Play, I don't remember if I stated or not. But I'm going to anyways. I wanted this for Are you sure you can get us to Cap without leading them right to him? Got it covered. You just stick with me. But what about the rest? How can we convince- They're gonna have to make their own choice. Stark, Richards, and Songbird are obviously a lost cause. But maybe. Well, well. Speak of the devil. So you folks made up your minds yet? From what I hear, they ain't gonna give you much more time to sit on the fence. Hi, I wasn't trying to talk to you guys, but got any compelling reasons why I should want to become a criminal? Puppet, and I assume you feel the same way. There are worse things you could do than risk jail time to do the right thing. Advocates point toward the Washington, D.C. attack. As the right thing equals beating up government employees. You sure of that? If they're enforcing unconstitutional laws and hunting you down like a dog, hell yeah. Good to know. How long you really think a resistance movement can last? long as it takes i mean i've seen captain america in civil war and i mean the comic oh boy that's uh <laughs> no one was right in that book simple yeah easy no but i know cap he'll get us through look you got what you need to know i got stuff to talk over with these guys so basically, Cage represents the, uh... Cage basically represents the, uh... uh blah, 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 brain. Come on, do this. The anti-registration. That dude has not been able to figure out how stairs work. With the Superhuman Registration Act looking likely to pass within the week, we recently sat down with one of its most surprising critics, Captain America. Thanks for having me, Brian. Our pleasure. Captain, in the wake of the Stanford tragedy, the public overwhelmingly favors mandatory registration for all superhumans. Can millions of Americans be wrong? Unfortunately, they can, Brian. Our country's history is littered with wrongs that most Americans approved of at the time. Slavery. The incarceration of Japanese Americans during World War II. The McCarthy hearings. But how do you deal with it, knowing that nearly everyone is against you on this? I think of what Mark Twain wrote on the subject. If you alone of all the nation shall decide one way, and that way be the right way according to your convictions, you have done your duty by yourself and by your country. An inspiring quote. Absolutely. When the mob and the press and the whole world tell you to move, your job is to plant yourself like a tree beside the river of truth and tell the whole world, no, you move. Interesting. So yeah, we're gearing up for the talk. The decision. The cross. Which side will I choose? Superhero, will I join the pro-registration or the anti-registration? Now, the reason I wanted every character unlocked is for a simple reason. I dare be the man to ask, why choose? I will be doing both sides. I'll explain how first after we get done talking with some people. So, Bishop. You come to a decision yet? 
And there was uh, nothing funny about Stanford, but is this really the answer? Now, yeah, it is. Stanford would never have happened if superheroes had proper oversight. Yeah, sorry, red tape clashes with my costume. We don't let cops run around shooting whoever they want. If somebody wants the authority to take on bad guys, they need to answer to somebody. Yeah, the problem with that is it comes with uh, the whole political stand and deciding who's right, who's wrong. At that point, it no longer becomes what is sense of justice, and at that point, you're just super-powered, uh... Super-powered cops and told to go... Super-powered... Soldiers of Fortune? Sounds more accurate. Anyways, she'll cheer through itself into this register or we'll kick your butts thing, huh? Everyone's got a better reason to be paranoid than I do. And I'm telling you, this is the way it's gotta go. Was it Nitro who did the actual exploding, not the new warriors? Just saying. Technically, that's true. But someone supervising their actions could have saved those innocents. Look, I can't make the decision for you. Just remember, we're supposed to protect people. Signing up for training and accountability is the best way to do that. Yeah, training and accountability is one thing, but being forced to hunt down your fellow superheroes or forcibly making people become soldiers of fortune who don't want to be, that's an entirely different thing. Because that's what the Super Regi Superhuman Registration Act says. It says if you are technically a metahuman, regardless of if you are a superhero or not, you must register. Also on the nitro bit can we talk about how hypocritical it is that they kind of blame that on the new warriors uh supervision and accountability would have stopped them how nitro's power is to literally fucking blow himself up hell if you want to get technical and again this was also in the comics in the comics iron man defeated nitro by forcing him to blow up multiple times until he tired himself out i'm not trying to say that civil war is stupid but boy do a lot of plot points sound stupid actually if you want a good review on it i recommend taking a look at uh Atop the Fourth Wall, Linkara's uh, show on YouTube, where he talked about the 50, 15 top stupid things about Civil War. There were a lot of good things in there, such as Captain America basically being a giant asshole, written as though he was Ultimate Cap, who is a real fucking piece of work. Um, some really terrible decisions, such as, uh, what is it? Re uh, read... Hank Pym and Tony Stark cloning Thor, because at the time they believed he was dead. Um, and, oh god, and of course the aforementioned, like, uh, uh, Nitro blowing himself up and stuff like that. And of course, Maria Hill attacking them and other things. Also, just the ending in general. But yeah, good stuff. We're gonna keep talking to people and then we'll get to how I'm gonna solve this whole split. You have reached the voice mailbox of Reed Richards. can't do this. Lord knows I've followed you into some pretty crazy places over the years, but somehow this is one place I can't go. I I've been thinking about it for a long time. Registration's wrong, and I won't support a law I don't believe in, but I'm still a patriot. I ain't gonna fight my own government, so the way I see it, that leaves me only one choice. I'm out underground till this thing blows over. Don't bother trying to find me. Good times. Also, that'll explain a, cer a uh, tidbit later on. Alright, so... Let's hear what this has to say. Reed, I'm trying, but I just can't follow these equations. I'd be surprised if you could, Tony. They're a new form of science I invented, actually. A way to predict future trends by mathematically modeling past events. Really? How reliable? Very. I've been using it to predict general trends for years. And what are they showing you now? A series of societal earthquakes. <laughs> conflicts beyond anything that's ever happened. The death of billions. My God. 
God. I ran the numbers again and again. I found no force that could be applied anywhere to make a better outcome until... The Registration Act. Yes. That's the first part. Other actions will be necessary, in the right order, at the right times. Actions that will turn us against our friends. Change everything we know. I'm well aware of that, Tony. But the alternatives are much, much worse. Whoever said saving the world would be easy, huh? All right, Reed. Walk me through the numbers. And take it slow. Well, good time over there. All right, let's see what Mr. Fantastic and Songbird, who support the pro-registration. We'd find ourselves in the equivalent of a super-powered civil war. Roll credits. We are so busy fighting each other that criminals get a free pass. Exactly. Oh, you wish. That's where you and the Thunderbolts would come in, Melissa. We need you to help S.H.I.E.L.D. keep crime under control while we focus on... Oh, hello again. I'm glad to see you're not going off half-cocked like Luke, Danny, and Eli over there seem to be. We need cooler heads to prevail at a time like this. Mm-hmm. Doesn't seeing Captain America reject the SRA make you think it might be wrong? There's morality and there's practicality. I may have personal issues with the act, but I also have hard evidence that if we rebel against it, the entire world's future will be imperiled. So, there's really only one sane choice here. <laughs> Isn't the lesser of two evils still evil? I'm not saying the SRA is evil, but going down a path we know leads to disaster would certainly be irresponsible and foolish. I mean, no is a very questionable thing, considering it's just pseudoscience, but okay. What will happen to those who defy the Registration Act? I'm not Act? sure that's been determined. Incarceration, most likely. Those who violently resist might accidentally be harmed. <laughs> accidentally? <laughs> is that a threat? Of course not. But anyone who openly resists law enforcement should know the risk they're taking. I'm sorry, I can't discuss this indefinitely with you. I hope you make the intelligent choice here. Shield contingent. All right, we got one last person to talk to before we uh, finish up our time here. Hey, good times, Howdy. huh? <laughs> Can't believe it's come I to this. Can. The government's always wanted to take us down a peg. Now they see their chance. But Cap showed us what we need to do. You sound paranoid. And you sound naive. I'm a serial killer. Get off my back. You see these fangs? What now? Do you think Cap will start some kind of resistance Between movement? You and me? I hope so. I have no intention of registering. And we're gonna need a leader. Talking about a rebellion. People could die. People have died. Nothing can change that. But we can't let it keep us from doing what we know is right. Look, personal freedom is what Cap's fighting for. This is your choice to make. I know which way I'm going. Hopefully you do too. And with that, that's everyone else to talk to. And so, it begins. Stock Enterprises 